Hello sunflowers, Mystic Intuition here getting ready to do a collective reading. This is not sign specific. So if you happen to be intuitively drawn here, the messages may resonate for you. There are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip straight ahead to the reading itself. Um, the reading that we're going to do today is one of the most common questions that I get. It's Again, I don't necessarily read gender specific, but one of the most common questions that I get um, is to do readings on a man that you're in love with. Um, but maybe not together with. So again, it could be reversed for some of you. This could apply as a woman, but I'm going to focus my energy on specifically the man you are in love with, but are in separation with. So what is the energy here, please, spirit? What is the situation? What karmic obstacles are blocked, are, are preventing this connection from coming together? What is separating you and this person? What is going on right now? What do you need to know? Okay, so there could be a soulmate potentially involved for some of you. Um, let's see. Let me get a call. Okay. Ooh. Okay. This is taking a turn. Okay. Um, first, first thing I want to say is when we have soulmate and twin flame, you know, it could be that either for some of you, this could be your soulmate. It could be your twin flame. However, that resonates for you. Sometimes when we get both of these cards, it can say that maybe they are with a soulmate and they're your twin flame or they're with a twin flame and you are their soulmate. Um, so for some of you, that could be part of the dynamic here. It could be that there is someone else currently involved. Now, soulmates don't always have to be romantic. It could be a family member or something. But we're, we're going to see more specifically as we kind of go along. Please know that when I would do these collective specific channeled messages like this, they can be extremely specific. So take what resonates and leave what does not. For those of you that are new to my channel, I do put out weekly readings for each individual zodiac sign um, as well as bonus readings. So definitely go check those out for your moon rising, Venus, your sun sign. Okay. We have obsession under the deck, which is constant thought, desire, attraction, infatuated, can't stay away, and wanting more. Okay, so this person's probably thinking a lot about you. We have soulmate. Well, I mean, I guess that would make sense if they're your twin flame or something. Um, soulmate. A soulmate is involved. A friend, a family member, lover, or karmic. Deep connection and soul contract. It might be that maybe there's a soulmate involved that they have some kind of soul tie with. Some kind of unfinished karmic debt maybe even they owe to this person. Differences. Age, religion, money, background, height or appearance, difference of belief, or unapproving people, potentially gossip. Okay. So it might be that there are people in this person's life who do not approve of your connection for one reason or the other. Maybe they constantly side with this soulmate, with this karmic partner, okay? You know, you've been with so and such for, you know, 20 years. How could you possibly leave? Or y'all got kids together? Or you're from this culture or this religion? Or you're, you know, you're different, blah, 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 blah. What a reason shouldn't be their business, but there are unfortunately some people who like to kind of insert their nose into other people's business that want to gossip or spread rumors or create conflict where it doesn't need to be. Twin flame, perfect fit, mirroring, similar or unconditional love and devotion. So you and this person definitely might mirror each other in a lot of ways. Codependency, addictions, holding on to toxicity, unhealthy behavior or fear of change. Yeah, I mean, if this person is dealing potentially with a soulmate or like a karmic partner, uh, it can be that maybe they found a lot of comfort in that relationship. Maybe they're afraid of making some kind of transition. There could be uh, like money tied up in a situation. We have toxicity, again, repeating itself here. Addictions, codependency, manipulation, control, or jealousy. We have union, coming together, reuniting physical relations and closeness. We have blessings, which says a gift, protection, prayer, and abundance. And then healing, sad, loss, missing you, regret, and pain. Okay. So I definitely straight away feel like this is a very specific situation where you're dealing with someone where there is some type of choice between a soulmate and a twin flame. I think that they may be afraid that people will not approve. Maybe you have a very large age gap or you come from very different backgrounds or people just side with this other person or something. There's something about toxic energy trying to keep this person stuck and their opinions definitely interfering with this person. There's definitely a lot of healing need to take place here. I do see you and this person coming back together though. So let us see more specifically what is going on. Let us see. This is like really, really intense. And guys, let me know in the comments how you like this type of reading. And if there are like specific situations or scenarios you want me to read on, 
just let me know in the comments. You know, I love doing these bonus readings for you guys. Um, just let me know. Take a cards or specific scenarios. Just let me know. I love seeing your comments. I love getting you guys' feedback. Okay. What is going on here, please? So your energy, their energy, what is between you and this person, the obstacle or challenge or the main thing, their thoughts about you, their feelings, their intentions and actions. Ooh. I'm looking at you through the glass. That song, I'm trying to think how it goes. It's coming to mind. Maybe it's significant for some of you. You might hear it might be a sign or a confirmation for some of you of Gemini energy. So close, but yet so far. Some of you, this person definitely could be at a distance. A lot of your relationship might be like virtual or online. Um, oh, wow. Okay, so Gemini strongly here. Virgo strongly here. Sagittarius. Uh, Aries, Leo, Scorpio. I mean, could be any sign. This is very prominent, though. Um, yeah, this is a very intense spiritual connection between you and this person. I also have two of cups here. They might be with a soulmate, and maybe you're their twin flame. They don't know if they can manifest this. They might feel a lot of guilt because they may have a lot of really strong feelings for this other person. And that's why they're feeling so unbalanced because even if like I said, again, I will never justify negative actions or behavior, but for some of you, it definitely could be that this person doesn't want to hurt this other person. Like, even if they're not, like, in love with them, they may still really love them. They may still care about this person a lot. Um, you know, and this person might even be someone who has been with them or stood beside them through a lot of, a lot of things. Um, now, I think in your energy here, again, uh, male or female does not matter, but I do see Queen of Wands. So you definitely could have strong fire in your chart. Uh, Queen of Wands is someone who really knows their worth. They are really kind of working on building up their self-confidence. I want to get a clarifying deck, though, just to kind of get a little more insight into what is going on. And that gives me a little room here to kind of put my little messagey deck here that I've created. <laughs> honestly, sometimes, guys, I, I could just make this into, like, a regular deck, but honestly, sometimes I just prefer the little handwritten card. Something about it just feel. Like, I love the feel of it. You know, um, what's going on? How do you see this situation? Now, I mean, it's possible too that you could, I mean, sometimes the queen of wands came, like the mistress or like the other woman. Uh, it is possible that maybe you see the, yourself as the mistress. Maybe they're married, physically married to another person. I'm so sorry, you guys. I do have very young, I have a two year old and five year old. Can't always control if they're going to be super quiet for me while I'm working, but, um, Listen, sometimes the Queen of Wands can be like a mistress or like the other woman. So you could view yourself, some of you could view yourself that way. If not that, it very well may be that you actually view this person's partner as someone who is kind of jealous or spiteful, um, maybe self-centered. How do you see this? They may have a child with this person. And you know that they really care about this child and the emotional well-being of this child and that they do care it's like you might sense that they do really care for this person a lot you also have so much love and admiration for this person you truly like there, there's so much unconditional love that you have toward this person this kind of wanted to come out in the reverse so we're gonna we're gonna keep it that way but you know things are not what it appears to be this now something now okay it could be for some of you too that maybe you also are in a higher level of commitment that's clearly not for all of you uh, hermit Virgo energy under the deck but I think that you kind of uh, sense or feel that there's disharmony in this person's situation that it is not all perfect and rainbow and sunshine even though they may try to project it that way to other people they may try to like hide their problems at home this person might still feel like a great sense of obligation and responsibility to their family um, they're very loyal to their family, but it is very hard because this person is not really happy. Now, with the Temperance card and your person's energy, again, this is Sagittarius energy, but with the Temperance, this is all about finding balance. And I think that there's something here about, yes, they do care about this soulmate, this other person, but they don't feel the things that you should feel in a relationship. Do you know what I mean? It's like they feel some kind of guilt for wanting something else. 
like they wish they could just make themselves happy with what they have and it's like trying to kind of rein in on these emotions it's like you meet this like physical spiritual mental emotional like all of the all of the boxes get checked you know it's like you provide for this person what they seem to lack in this other relationship and they feel a lot of guilt for that How, what's going on with your person what is going on with this this man or this mask okay strong masculine energy here we have the king of pentacles the seven of wands the three of cups and the emperor okay, so aries energy strongly here um i feel like going through the motions like this person goes to work you know they come home they eat dinner they go to sleep they wake up they do, it's, it's like the same repetitive like routine and this is someone who definitely has they feel such an overwhelming amount of like responsibility like this is someone who just feels like the weight of the world rests on their shoulders um, and this is not to get pity for this person or but I feel like there's something about this connection with you that really makes them feel hopeful playful excited again but I also kind of feel like this person has blocked you out or distanced themselves from you because they felt some kind of guilt or that this in some way threatened what they had and this person does take their role very seriously an emperor is someone who has an empire it doesn't matter if it's massive if it's small it doesn't matter what they're what they reign over okay this is someone who is not likely to just abandon their post okay that there's too many people dependent on them and they have a lot to this is not someone king of pentacles this is not the kind of person who makes impulsive decisions they don't go you know what i'm not happy let me just leave they're going to think this through so so cautiously because they're afraid of making a mistake they're afraid of like, the repercussions like if it doesn't work out if the tower falls there's so much that goes into it this person is thinking about every minor little detail and I think that you know that. And I think that you know how tired this person is feeling like the, everything rests on them. It, it's in their hands. Almost like, and again, I'm not trying to talk negatively about their partner or anyone. I never want to do that. But I, I kind of get this sense of feeling like if it wasn't for me, they would just fall apart. Like I'm the glue holding everything together. And if I leave this post, everything crumbles around me. You know, they won't remember to, you know, trim the bushes they won't remember to paint the shutters they won't remember to cut the grass they won't remember to take out the trash they won't remember to do it. like every little thing it's like everyone depends and i don't even just think it's their partner i think it's their family and everyone around them in their life it's like they had to put themselves their wants their needs their desires on the back burner and just be this person who sits at this post and is constantly ready to handle other people's problems they don't even have the time to handle their own problems okay um between you you're missing each other and i think look at how she's like holding this seal trying to comfort it i think that you might even dream about each other okay and that like brings you both a lot of comfort like holding each other being close to each other and even if this person's not physically there for some of you i kind of get i'm getting goosebumps can you see my little goosebumps appearing here uh, for some of you, I even feel like this person, you might energetically just feel their energy just wrapped around you at times. And vice versa, like you energetically try to like connect with this person. Because there's a barrier here and this person's too prideful to come towards you right now. They might even be ashamed of the role that they... Five of Cups or, you know, clarifying Five of Cups. This person's missing you and you're missing them. It, it's mutual. You know, where did that card go? Healing, yeah. Sad, loss, missing you, regret, pain. Okay, it's not like this person doesn't feel what you're feeling, but they're afraid to come towards you. They're almost like they're ashamed of how their life is. And like you know, like intuitively, you sense it, you feel it. They don't even have to tell you. You just know how what's going on with them. The obstacle though is that this person has to make a choice, and they may feel like it's not just you and them, or or them and someone else there's like you and the life that you could build together you know so um here's you and them okay 
but for this other person, it's them, the karmic, you know, their two or three kids, um, their parents, their spouse's parents, their friends, their neighbors. It's like everything gets affected. Everything gets affected. You know, it, you know, it's like they have to think about all of this. Um, and so for this person, it's like they're so overwhelmed by making this choice or making this decision. Do you get me? Uh, I feel like this, and I think that you know this. What is the obstacle? What is the choice that this person has to make? I think they're worried mostly about a child. Now, it doesn't matter. I mean, pages can represent like youthfulness, like toddlers, young children. But it doesn't even necessarily have to be. It could just be like a very spolt or... Um, temperamental child or teenager or young adult even um, maybe a fire sign it may for some of them too they're worried about like leaving their home you know I won't be there to tuck in my children every night or you know um, they will want to speak to me for a while or <clears throat> excuse me I don't get emotional I'm like picking up a lot of like woof it's like woof <laughs> um <clears throat> It's like they may even have to physically move. Like maybe you live in a different state or even a different country. Because again, this could be like, for me, this is the lovers, but it talks about choices. But you see how they're looking at each other. Like she's under the sea. She's like a mermaid and he is like on land. It's like you're in different worlds, whether it's different states or, you know, a few hours away or in different countries, even for some of you. It's like there may be some type of compromise in like travel or movement. What's the obstacle? This person doesn't know right now if they have the strength, Leo energy, to make this transition. They're worried about this choice and how it affects everything, like a domino effect. It's not just hurting the karmic, it's everything that goes along with it. Um, their thoughts about you, the Seven of Swords, they kept a lot of secrets from you, and they know that they may have really hurt you with this. What is this person's thoughts? For some of you, they may have betrayed your trust. They may not have been fully honest about this third party, this other person. Um, oof. And they stopped fighting for it. And I think they feel a lot of guilt. They should have apologized. They should have said something or done something different. They didn't... God. All they do is think about the choices that they've made. The mistakes they feel they've made. But it's like this person, like what I'm getting, like I'm getting like, I'm, there's like tears welping in my eyes. Like this person's like, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to abandon my post when all these people rely on me, depend on me. And I'm not even saying that they should, but it's like this person feels like it is their responsibility. Like it's always been their responsibility. They're like the glue that holds everything together. This feels very karmic, like the environment that they're in. It feels honestly kind of toxic. I mean, it's understandable for those who have small children, but for some of them, they really worry even about older children. Um, this person's heartbroken. I mean, a heart can't be broken unless there's love in it. This person also may not have really told you how they felt in the past. They think of you as someone who is, like, independent, and some of you might even be, like, a business owner or something, you know, single, independent, beautiful, confident, successful... You know, Queen of Cups under the deck, so and so loving and kind and healing. What this person feels with the Three of Cups, well, they do love you. There's something here about coming together and, you know, it's a, something like this, this like hopefulness. You know, this is about, you know, like dating, celebrating playfulness. This person may even like feel like this desire to like reconnect with you like in a friendly way. Instead of just being like this heaviness of like, oh, my life is a disaster. I know I messed up. And it, it's like, how have you been? How are things? Can we go out? What if we went to for coffee and I'll be in the area? Can we meet up? Can I see you? Can I feel? How does this person feel towards you? What does this person feel? Well, they feel that you may not necessarily believe them because of something that happened in the past, some kind of secrets that were kept, that you're a bit hesitant, that you haven't like reached out to them or you've held back from them. There's been distance here. 
they're nervous to say something to you because they do feel like really apologetic for, for the past. They've given us a lot of thought. Um, I mean, they still want to reconnect, but it's almost like this person feels safer in reconnecting with you, like in a very casual way. Okay. Um, they feel they weren't honest with you, that you deserve clarity, you deserve truth, you deserve to know. Maybe for some of you, for some of you, okay, I do want to say specifically, you could have like put your life on hold for a while for this person, like maybe even waited, you know, months or even years for some of you, and then it just didn't manifest, and there was like, this person ghosted or separated from you, uh, they, they held back communication, they know that it hurt you, and that you've kind of hardened your heart or kind of closed off from them energetically because of what they put you through and how it affected you both. Okay, so their intentions with you, we have 10 of cups. Well, this is about family. It is about love. You know, it is about commitment. What is their intentions? It's like they're making a choice they're not necessarily happy about. They're not upset about, but they're not really happy about it. Like they want to be with you. Taurus, Libra. Ten of Cups. Again, I always recommend you guys get personal readings. If not with me, with someone that you trust, somebody that you know is actually going to tell you the truth, there is a link to my Etsy shop in the description box below. It's like they're hoping to reject someone's offer or do something they're not necessarily happy about. Like they know it's, it's just necessary to choose their happiness to put you first. Divine masculine, divine feminine energy here. Because the outcome is a tower. This is an unexpected event, something that you didn't see coming. What is the tower? Is this sometimes it can be divorce, sometimes it can be separation, sometimes it can be something just out of nowhere, like something shocking or even sometimes unsettling. What is this? King of Cups in the reverse. What is this? The chariot. Okay. Divine timing at play here. Ooh, look at this. Okay, I want to say this. This is, okay, so the hair font for me is one of my twin flame cards. You see the two keys here? Divine masculine, divine feminine energy. I always get questions. How do you know someone to twin flame? How do you know a soulmate? Not, one is not better than the other, first and foremost. Twin flames are kind of rare. It doesn't matter either way, you know. A beautiful connection, beautiful, is a beautiful connection, beautiful energy, is beautiful energy. Um, but a uh, twin flame is kind of like, you're a key and they're a key. A soulmate is like, you're a lock and they're a key. You get what I'm saying? And like, it's it's like you're the same or like you fit together. It's like one of the two, okay? Like, um, let me give one more example. Just for those of you who aren't sure. Um, I could really go on and on about this, but a twin flame uh, is a little bit different. A soulmate is like you're half of this heart and they're the other half of this heart and a twin soulmate will kind of complete you in an external way, you know, if you will. Uh, twin flame is like they're not half of your heart, they're part of your half. You know, and that's why twin flame and soulmates often overlap. Okay. Yeah, we'll get what. <laughs> but destiny, eleven, eleven. Strong Taurus energy, Cancer as well. It's like this person is like opening some kind of floodgates. Like you didn't expect this. I mean, the King of Cups in the, in the upright is someone who's very controlled in their emotions, feels very strongly. This is almost like being very emotional, maybe even crying, coming towards you, talking about happiness, wanting to make things work. You don't see this coming. Like they're distant from you, they want to be close to you, they want to share their feelings with you, they want to talk about making things work. They may say that they may even open up about their situation and the ways that they've tried to kind of make this work and the guilt they felt. And it's like just confirming the things that you kind of intuitively already felt. Okay? So that is what I have for you beautiful souls. Thank you again so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you so much for those of you that do generously send in donations and super chats. Thank you for those of you that do donate um, tarot and oracle decks from my wish list. Um, as always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.